Hi, this is the second tutorial on the basics of using a PC in your classroom. In this tutorial, you will learn how to access the calculator in your accessories folder and how to change the volume controls of your computer. Now when you sign into your computer, once again, you will see your desktop. It looks just like this. And in the bottom left, you're going to click on the Start button, and then you're going to scroll your mouse up to the All Programs button, and then on up to the Accessories folder. Now the Accessories folder contains different things such as the Paint program that you might be familiar with, the System Tools, which has a bunch of different tools to help clean up or back up your computer. You won't have to worry about those very much. And then it has the Calculator. Left-click once on Calculator, and you'll see a very basic function calculator show up. And the great thing about having a calculator handy on your computer is that if you don't have an actual calculator to use, then you can go ahead and just type in a simple calculation on the computer calculator. Or, if simply just because you get to show your classroom, you can show all your students exactly what you're doing in the calculator. Now this is a very basic function calculator, but if you go to View and you go to Scientific, then you'll have a few more advanced functions to use. And then you just use your mouse, just like you'd be using your finger on a, on a regular, uh, your finger on a regular computer. Let's click on eight with a left click, plus with a left click, and two, and then hit equals, and you'll get ten. Now let's talk about volume control. Let's go to start again into our programs and up to accessories, and this time let's go into the entertainment folder, and we'll click on volume control. Now the volume control has all these different options on here. But the one you're going to have to worry about is simply the master volume. If you want to decrease the volume or increase the volume, you're going to left click on this bar here, and then you can just drag your mouse up or down to whatever level you'd like the volume to be. Or if you'd like the volume to be completely off, you would just click on mute all, put a check mark in that box. I'm going to go to the X and exit out of here. Now there's also another way you can access the volume controls, and that will be on your bottom right uh, of your screen, which is your taskbar. And it has different icons here. It might have your um, antivirus software, it might have your, your email, any messenger software you might have on there. And this little megaphone here is the volume. And if you double click on that, then the same window appears that appeared before. And you can adjust your controls appropriately. Finally, let's tie in our last tutorial with this one and show that an even easier way to access these two things would be if I went to Calculator and I'll right click I can go Send to Desktop again. And then my calculator would be available to me on my desktop and I wouldn't have to even go into my Start folder. And I can do the same thing for the volume control. This concludes the second tutorial on the basics of using a PC in your classroom. In this tutorial, you learned how to access the calculator from the Accessories folder as well as how to access the volume controls. In the next tutorial, you'll be taught how to view two different windows at once on the internet. This will be very helpful for you while watching these videos because you can access our YouTube videos in one window while completing the tasks that you're being taught in another window.